our Discovering Philippines series. If you caught our last video, you'll know that we just made the incredible three-day boat journey from Coron to El Nido, stopping at amazing secluded beaches all along the way. After that epic adventure, we decided to lay low in El Nido to catch up on some editing and also really soak in the island vibes. We've gotten to know the place really well, so in today's video, we're gonna take you around El Nido to show you some of the best things you can do over the next two days. the most popular thing to do here in El Nido is to go on a island hopping tour. So that is what we're gonna do today. And I think we're getting really lucky because the weather looks really beautiful so far. All right, so we've signed in to our tour and they gave us these fun, kind of funny pink stickers. <laughs> Apparently it's so that they can identify which tour group we're in. So yeah. if you go to El Nido and you look for the two island hopping tours, there are four main tours that are basically offered by all the tour operators here. Yeah. It's tour A, B, C, or D. <laughs> and it's all like controlled that way, like the itinerary, so yeah. that I think there's less chaos <laughs> on the shores here. Yeah, and it's actually all the same price. Like every tour operator has to stick to the same price, which is kind of neat. So you don't have to shop around for the different price points. What you do need to shop around for is the best company. Yeah, so the company that we chose to go with today is Umi Travels and Tours. We've just heard such good things about them, some yeah. great reviews. Got really good reviews online. And then we're gonna be doing the Tour C. So Tour a and Tour C are probably the most popular tours here in El Nido. Tour A just being a little bit more popular and, and therefore a little bit more crowded, we yeah. think. So we opted to go with Tour C yeah. just because I think it's going to be really great views and like yeah. not as many people. Hopefully. Um, and apparently like lots of nice little secret beaches in this tour. So we'll see. We're super stoked. Well, it only took like maybe 20 minutes on the boat, but we're like, I feel like we're like inside the limestone hills. Karst? I don't know what you call them here. It's so beautiful. There are a bunch of boats here. I think this is our first stop. Right, so the name of our first stop, we have both forgotten. We'll put it on the screen somewhere. <laughs> but it's gonna neat. you actually have to get out and kayak too. You can swim, but there's a lot of coral and it gets really shallow, so these are just kayaking. And a heads up, it is 300 extra pesos to rent the kayak to go into the lagoon and kayak around, so keep that in mind. So far, it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, to be honest, I thought we were going to a beach first <laughs> and just gonna be jumping off and getting on a beach. And then we start up for the lagoon, but I'm actually, I'm pretty okay with it. Yeah, this is so beautiful. Stunning, like the limestone cars. I don't know what to call them. Cliffs, the Cliffs. rocks. Yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. The water is so turquoise. We can like see all of the coral underneath us. It is really cool to be in a kayak. I think swimming would be difficult. People are doing it, but uh, they have life jackets on, so they're nice and buoyant. As I think that would, uh, you definitely risk kicking your knees on coral here. I love the color of this water. It's just so, it's crazy how clear it is, the visibility. The visibility is like It also bonkers. helps that we have a really like sunny day. Mm. Yeah, we got so much at the weather. And it's just <laughs> it's just making everything look so beautiful. Ah. So ahead here, I think we're gonna get to like a, a deeper portion and it's all blue. Maybe we can go for a dip. Yeah. I really wanna get in, it's hot. Where all the boats are. Yeah, the hiddenness of the hidden beach is kind of given away by the fact that there are a ton of boats in front of these rocks. So. Yeah, stop number two is literally called Hidden Beach. There's some. Hidden, it's where here. we all come. It's here somewhere. <laughs> so, this is a gorgeous beach. Um, I will say, I, mean, I know we've joked about it, it's not very hidden. Everybody's here. But it's hidden in that you can't see it from outside. True. It is true. hidden. It's not secret. It's not that secret. That one's coming. <laughs> that beach is coming. But it's hidden, like you can't see it from outside. It's like a runway of water. Like, it looks it shallow. Goes then there's rocks on either side. It looks so shallow. And like by the time the water gets up here, it's actually very calm. So funny thing, when I was flying the drone, I almost feel like I'm doing a little bit of reconnaissance because I can kind of get a lay of the land. And I saw something interesting while I was up in the sky there. Let me see if we can get there. Oh my gosh, guys, look wow. at this. This is the, the secret of Hidden Beach. Wow. I have more Hidden Beach. <laughs> 
And you know what? There's absolutely nobody here. We weren't able to see this on the other side at all. It looks like there's probably just ocean across these rocks, but you never would have expected there's another smaller beach here. That's what do you think? That's pretty cool. That's pretty great. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Nice find. Nice. Wow. After a little bit of a choppy uh, takeoff from Hidden Ooh, Beach, we turned the corner and all of a sudden we're in this really quiet, serene, Ooh, like just a beautiful cove. waterway. Yeah, a little cove between these islands. Yeah, it looks like it's a place where everyone stops for lunch, but yeah. all the islands are taken. Oh, so is... we're eating lunch on board. Mm -hmm. I got lots of seafood. Week is in heaven because there was like six seafood dishes plus that is chicken and that's pork and of course rice so it's a good day for me <laughs> what about you i have buns it <laughs> no i have chicken and pork as well and okay we are at our fourth stop of the day this is secret beach there's no beach right now because you can't see it because it's a big secret Except everybody's still here, so not so secret. It's a bit of a hairy start though because we gotta swim there beside all these big rocks. Of all of the spots so far, I think this is what is this top three? This is my four, favorite. Four. This is four? Yeah. Oh my god, this is my favorite. <laughs> I really? really? Like it was like just the right amount of adventure to get in here. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right? It's like a little, little, little adrenaline. It was. And now it's so stinking beautiful in here. It's, I love it. It's so cool. It's I love favorite. just the enclosure yeah. of it. That's like how secluded it seems. And uh, we got our snorkel gear. Yeah. There's not much to look at right where we are now, no. but at the entrance there, the coral was amazing. Yeah, really like pink and red and stuff. It's beautiful. Keep laughing though. I said to you earlier, I'm pretty sure like home in Canada, this would not be allowed. <laughs> we came to this tiny little like hole in the wall. I feel like if you get the wrong wave, you like would hit yourself in the rocks. I guess the rocks, yeah. I don't think this would be a go at home. No, I no. think uh, there'd be a lot more uh, safety nets and place as if as in they would just say don't come here you're not allowed it's prohibited i love it though because it's super cool in here. but we survived yeah we're fine So we have made it to the last stop of the day. I can't believe we've already hit five different places. So this is Helicopter Island, mm. so-called because it looks like a helicopter. Mm -hmm. um, also, our ice cream has also brought us a, a, a new friend. Where is he? He's so cute. Um, but we've actually been to this uh, helicopter island before. Yeah, off the shore, not on the, not on the beach. That was the last week when my parents were still with us. We went scuba diving. We didn't film it, we just enjoyed the day with my parents. But it was so incredible. The scuba diving here is out of this world. I had no idea, actually, that <sighs> Palawan has some of the most amazing diving in the entire world. So good. We saw so many different animals. Like, there was incredible, beautiful coral and tons of just, like, fish in general here. There was so much marine life. And then on top of that, we saw some really cool bigger animals, like a really big puffer fish. Remember that? Uh, yeah, a giant puffer fish that yeah. looks like it has a human face. <laughs> we also saw some blue spotted stingrays, mm -hmm. which was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. We saw, what was that Remember green that? one? Yeah, shrimp, I think. Yeah, it's like a giant shrimp. I, I didn't I, know they looked like that. I didn't honest. realize they were so green. <laughs> I thought it was like a lobster, but our guide said it was a shrimp. And then we had the most incredible dive with a bunch of sea turtles. It was wonderful. That, that was probably the highlight of the diving yeah. for me, um, was just seeing the sea turtles yeah. getting up close to like this big, big uh, turtle. 
And I think uh, my favorite moment must be when we had that almost like a swimming race mm. with the uh, giant, almost 100 year old turtle. It was incredible. Yeah, Miko and I and this turtle just like swimming along. We saw a but bunch of turtles on that dive. But anyways, it was amazing. Honestly, scuba diving, if you have an extra day here in El Nido, we highly recommend spending one day doing some scuba diving. <laughs> couldn't resist, hey? I couldn't resist. Here, just take the chocolate off. I don't want you to get the stick. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Here, there's a little more. I'll help you. <laughs> okay, really quick before me and my new friend let you guys go. If you want to book the exact same tour that we did today, we went with Yumi Travels and Tours. We will put a link down in the description below uh, to their website so you guys can book with them as well. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Picture this, you're sitting in a cafe enjoying free Wi-Fi as you catch up on emails, scroll on social media, or enter your credit card details into Amazon to pay for your next order while, unbeknown to you, someone is lurking in the shadows waiting to steal your personal information and cause you the biggest headache of your life. Public Wi-Fi is a gold mine for hackers waiting for their next victim. And with NordVPN, you can be sure that won't be you. If you aren't too familiar with what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. It's a tool that encrypts your internet traffic and hides your IP in virtual location. Using a VPN significantly improves your online security so that third parties can't spy on you and track your online activity. If you're anything like me and you don't understand how someone can steal your personal information without actually touching your computer, there is another benefit to having a VPN that I think you might be interested in. Using NordVPN, you can unlock content that isn't available in your location. So let's say you're traveling to another country and your favorite show isn't available on Netflix anymore. You can simply change the virtual location of your computer or cell phone and trick Netflix into giving you access to your favorite shows and movies once again. If you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend NordVPN. They offer a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it out risk-free and if you use our code Nicole Amico, you will get four months extra on a two-year plan. To get started, click the link in the video description below and once again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to El Nido. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of exploring El Nido. In today's itinerary, we are going to be actually checking out some of the area outside of El Nido town. And the best way to do that is to rent a scooter. So that's the first thing we got to do today. So uh, we just got our bike. There's lots of bike shops in El Nido. So they're, they're a dime a dozen. They all charge pretty much the same thing, 500 pesos for a day on the scooter. But I think this one's the funniest one because this one also has like a on our roosters for some unknown reason just hanging out around the bikes so it could be a bike shop and a chicken shop at the same time i think i think that only comes in the philippines all right so el nino is kind of a neat tourist town it is just a couple of blocks honestly like maybe five or six blocks and they are very touristy we're going down the main one right now which parallels the water so you can see tons of like restaurants and shopping next to us like souvenir shops lots of really nice clothing shops this is one of our favorite places to uh, grab a bite. It's called Ma'as Grill. I think I'm saying that correctly. They've got delicious uh, curry and some good, what do you always get? Pork belly. Uh, pork belly, and it's really affordable too. Yeah, and there's like this little market right here where you can get all kinds of like kind of knick-knacky souvenirs. If you really want a fun night out, there is karaoke up here. I think every night, I'm not exactly sure, but you can have an epic time singing karaoke there. We've had some good times there. We have had some good times there. Yes, we have. This will be the day that I die. <laughs> if you're looking for more night out adventures, Amigos is a great place to, to go. Yeah, more of a club scene. So definitely need a little more energy for that one. This is the store that we actually did our scuba diving through. They were wonderful, highly recommend them. And then right across from them is a Gasto Gelato. They have incredible crepes. Uh, awesome crepes for 120 pesos. Yeah, really good. So if you need a little snack or you're craving something su sweet, that is the place to do it. And there's a, yeah, a place called Friends. It's a really popular hostel here. Lots of things to do, rooftop bar, or rooftop a pool. Rooftop pool yeah. and, uh, and bar. bar. Yeah, so if you're looking for a party scene or maybe you're here by yourself and you're wanting to meet people, Friends Hostel is apparently the place really, to go. Really good. There is like more to El Nino Town. It's just that it's a little further away and it's towards an area that's called Korong Korong Beach. We're gonna take you there later today. So we'll kind of show you the rest of like of El Nino area. Um, but this part that we just drove down right now, this is definitely like the main tourist section.
to Nakpan Beach. It is stunning! It is a beautiful beach and it's a beautiful day today. This is a really long beach, by the way. Yeah, so what makes Jaunted. Nakpan Beach so like uh, famous is because it's just such a long beach yeah. compared to a lot of the other beaches around El Nido. Mm -hmm. And you get a thousand nice spots to enjoy the beach from. It's I think it's cool because you can get in anywhere. Like the whole, like the water is stunning. There's no seaweed, there's no coral. Like this, yeah. well, maybe there's a little coral on the one side, but you can definitely get in to go for a nice swim. So despite doing pretty much nothing, we're starving and uh, we decided to grab some lunch mm. at the place where we were sitting in front. I've got pancit bihon. Yeah. It's a bihon, which is like tiny little like glass noodles with vegetables and I just got the veggie one. You can get it with chicken I think as well. Or you can get the thick noodle version of pancit. Pancit is like possibly one of my favorite mm. Filipino dishes because it's basically just yummy noodles. <laughs> so it's an easy one to try if you need a Filipino food. And uh, I got the chicken calderetta. Chicken calderetta or the cal calderetta sauce, I think is a very specific sauce and a very popular one here in the Philippines. Chicken calderetta and rice, so good. But Nicole's already mm. diving in. It's amazing. We also got spring rolls. What else do they call them again? Lumpia. Lumpia. So these are the chicken lumpia. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, here, listen to that crunch. Oh my god. It sounds so good. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love the sauce. So I quickly gotta say something now that we've been chilling on this beach for a little while and we've been, we've been spending a lot of time on Philippines beaches. I have come to notice how much Filipinos <laughs> love playing on the beach. Whether it's in the sand or in the water, it is just part of our nature. And I laugh because because you know, we know another Filipino like that. Yeah, <laughs> growing up, she's seen me play like in the sand, put the sand all over my head and my oh. hair, like everywhere. He like, douses his legs with sand every time we're on a beach. He's just like covering himself in sand. And I realized it wasn't just <laughs> simply a personality trait for me. It is like in my blood. <laughs> As we're sitting here, just relaxing on the beach, there are, I've been watching so many <laughs> Filipinos just having a blast in the water and in the sand. Like in the sand, rolling in the sand, covering themselves in the sand, pulling each other in the sand. I'm like, yeah, ugh. I, covering like, I just each hate, other. I hate that feeling. And I, every time Mika does it, I'm always like, ugh, I can't believe you're doing that. And now yeah. we're like hanging around. I'm like, it's uh, maybe a Filipino thing. It's a thing. It's a real thing. And it totally makes sense. Behind us here, there's like a full on game happening yeah. too. Like, a, I, I don't know. There's teams involved. There's. <laughs> It's a competition. It is Maybe you very, join them. very Filipino. Maybe I should join them. <laughs> I think it's time for Nicole to finally join in. Nope, too sandy. In a, in a country full of nope. people who love to play in the sand. I got a great book to read. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> so we're on our way to another beach right by El Nino Town. Just a couple minutes outside the main part of the town. It's called Corong Corong. The sun isn't even setting yet, and you can already see why you come to Karong Karong Beach for epic sunsets. It's so beautiful, like so nice. The water is so flat, mm. and then you have all the boats uh, on top that it just with all the islands in the yeah. background. There is another beach here that has pretty good views for sunset. It's called Vanilla Beach, but there's like this like little hill or mountain, whatever you call it, and that juts right in front of where the sun sets. So if you want a cool sunset spot, Karong Karong Beach is definitely the one to choose. It's actually been a super relaxing day. Mm. We've really enjoyed going around El Nido, yeah. but we're gonna enjoy the rest of the sunset and leave you guys there. And the next video, we'll be exploring more Philippines. We're not mm -hmm. exactly sure what we're up to we yet. We don't know where we're going yet, but, but maybe cue some B-roll of what we're doing next. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you then.